Hi, it's Chester Tugwell from Blue Pecan Computer Training. In this video, we're going to look at using the Choose function with the VLOOKUP function. Uh, this will allow us to VLOOKUP across multiple lookup tables. So in our scenario, we have a little discount scheme going on where we apply discounts based on the quantity ordered. But you can see that there are three different categories of products that allow for different discount schemes. So what I need to do is find out what category this product is in and then look up the correct discount according to that category. And this is where choose and VLOOKUP is one way of doing this, not the only way, but choose and VLOOKUP is quite a neat way of achieving this solution. So first of all, uh, let's find out what category these products are in. Now, quite simply in our scenario, the third character in each of these product codes defines the category. Now, you may know about the mid function, which is a text function, that will allow you to extract a character or a number of characters within a text string. So it's got three arguments. The first is text, so that's our text in 89. We want to start extracting characters from the third character, and we only want to extract one character. And that neatly gives us the product category for each of these products. Over here, we just need to calculate the total price that we can then apply a discount to. So that's just a simple multiplication. Copy that down, widen the column. And that's fine. So I've just got to do my discounts here. That's where the hard work begins. But We've got these three lookup tables here. In fact, we've got four over here. I'll explain that one later. Uh, what I'm going to do is actually uh, give each of these tables a name by converting them to tables. Uh, Excel tables, that is. Uh, that just make uh, using the VLOOKUP functions down here much easier. So to do that, to name a table, just click into the table A cell. Go to Insert Table. Click on OK. Makes it look pretty, but up here and give it a name. So I can call that Cat A. This one I shall call Cat B. Pressing Enter each time. And this one I shall call Cat C. Wrong. Uh, table, click on OK. I uh, don't know why I do that, but there we are. I'm typing the name up into the ribbon. Now, this last one here provides a little index number for each of these categories. So A will be 1, B will be 2, C will be 3. This is necessary because in the choose function, the first argument requires an index number. Uh, you'll see how this works later on, but for now, let's just call this table here index. Now it hasn't got any headers, so I'm going to call that index. And I could just write some column headings in, so let's call that cat. And that's index number. Right, let's see how the choose function works. So here we are, let's write our choose function in. So the first argument requires an index number. I could just write an index number in there, one, which would maybe apply to category A. But I don't want to have to type the number in. What I want it, uh, Excel to do is automatically generate that number based on the category here. The reason I need a number is basically that will tell Excel or tell the choose function which of the VLOOKUPs to perform. You can see I've got value 1, that'll be run if uh, index number 1 is specified. Value 2, that'll be run if index number 2 is specified. And these values are essentially going to be the different VLOOKUPs I need to perform. So, let's write a little VLOOKUP here. That will look up that in index. So I'm just going to type index, there we are. There's my index table. And I'm returning values from the second column performing an exact match. Kind of assuming here you know a little bit about uh, VLOOKUP. 
So that's my that will generate my index number quite nicely. What I now need to do is specify what VLOOKUP to run for index number one. So VLOOKUP. So um, lookup value, well, um, lookup value will be this, the quantity. Looking up this quantity in category A table. So cat A. You can see they all came up in that list quite nice to see how easy it is if you name your table so you can just pick which one you're looking up and um, returning values from column two now essentially what I'm going to be doing is an approximate match look up not an exact match look up so I don't need to write false at the end so I can just close that bracket and put in a comma so that is the VLOOKUP I want to perform for index number one for extent index number two should that appear Will be returned here. What I would want to do is look up values in cat B table and then you've guessed it. If index number three is returned I want to look up um, values in cat C table. So then I can just close off the choose function. So just a reminder index number will be returned here and depending on which index number is returned, it will run 1, 2, or 3. So what I want to do, if I've returned the correct discount, I then need to multiply it by the total. So times E9, press Enter, and just copy that down, maybe perform a bit of formatting there. Right, let's see if this is correct. So if I've got a category C product with quantity of 8, um, I get a 0% discount, which is quite right. Let's take category C with a quantity of 74. So I should be getting a 7% discount for that. Let me try that. So if I said equals that times 7%, 287594, that's correct. Let's try another table. Let's try A. So A27, so in A27, I'd be expecting a 5% discount. So let's try that. So I'd say equals that times 5%. There we are. It seems to have worked. So what it's done is looked up this value here. That's given it an index number over here, which has allowed the choose function to run either the first VLOOKUP, the second VLOOKUP, or the third VLOOKUP. Okay, so that's using choose the VLOOKUP where you have multiple lookup tables that you need to include in your formula. Okay, it's Chester Tuggle at Blue Pecan Computer Training. Hopefully this has been helpful.